guys welcome back to the power bi pro tips by tejas so in the today's video let us see how to create a message pop up window or a notification window in a power bi report so let's let us go ahead and launch our power bi desktop and open a sample power bi report let us see what we have got so we basically have the financial data information over here so we have various segments and the segments include the government channel partners enterprise mid market and small business and we basically have five different locations they are germany canada france mexico and usa and we also have various products with respect to various locations and various segments we also have discount brands unit sold manufacturing price sales price gross sales discounts profits and so on in addition to this we also have our standard date table date year and so on okay so if i go to the report view we basically have three different slicer one is the country slicer the segment slicer and the year slicer and i've also created various kpi trends they are sales profits with respect to time and in addition to that we also have a table visual they are date sales profits quantity and discount information let's go ahead and create a message pop up window let us open a new tab let us go to insert and under shapes let us take a rounded triangle let us keep it more broader so that we will be able to paste the information properly let us go ahead and under format let us change the color to white let's go ahead and take uh, three card visuals in order to place the country segment and year information so i'm basically placing all the filters that has been used in the I mean, in the main page, I have the country slicer, I have the second slicer, and I have the year slicer. So, on selection of the country slicer and segment slicer on year slicer, I should be getting the filters that are that has been used in the page dynamically. Let's go ahead and take uh, three card visuals in order to place the country segment and year information. So I'm basically placing all the filters that has been used in this page. I mean, in the main page, I have the country slicer, I have the segment slicer, and I have the year slicer. So, on selection of the country slicer and segment slicer on year slicer, I should be getting the filters that are that has been used in the page dynamically onto the message pop-up window. So that's our uh, that's our uh, main objective behind. So here, under country filter slicer, I have used the country and the selected value function extracts the country information from the financial data dynamically. In order to understand more about the measure, please go ahead to my uh, video, the dynamic titles in Power BI dashboard, and I have given the link in the description box below. Now let us go ahead and take these three measures. This represents the country information. Let's go ahead and format that. Let us select some other fonts in size of bold. Let us give it fifteen. Yeah, that looks much better. Much too small. Okay. Yeah, twenty is fine. Let us make it dark blue. Size of the option. Now let's go ahead and place our segment information and year information as well. Let me place it below. Yeah. And below segment, let us go ahead and take the year filters. Let us take it towards the left so that make sure that the components are aligned properly. Now let us go ahead 
and get the customized button for close let's make it smaller and let us place it over here that is done with that now let us click and select this entire area consisting of components and then group the elements this is an important step make sure that you group it all these things will look scattered once once we go to the main page now let's go ahead and copy this and let us go to the main page and let us paste it over here so now if you make a selection from the country slicer we get it dynamically over here similarly if you make if you do the same for segment we get the selected segment dynamically in the message window and similarly for yes slicer as well so this is what that measure does you know it gets the information dynamically from the data set from the data set now let us go ahead and enable the bookmarks and the selection pane now let us go ahead and create a bookmark called as msg open message open let us go ahead and update that now let us go ahead and create another bookmark as msg close message closed now let us keep this hidden let us go ahead and update that and click on this button various filters used in the report filter context used in this report and enable the action as bookmark and let us redirect to msg open so this is the message open let us keep this unhidden it's it's basically if you click on this button i get this message and let us click on this button and let us go to the action pane and enable the action and let us redirect the bookmark to and make it close that's it so basically when i click on this button i get a message pop up window and if i click on close it goes away so that's it so this is how you create a message a message panel or a notification panel in any pabe report it need not only be the filter context only it can be any message say like you know it could be an information say like hey this is your pabe you can use your very own information as per the requirement so that's it guys go ahead and uh, happy analyzing please to watch the video completely and make sure that you like and subscribe if you are new so till then take care and happy analyzing